Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to show how you can make a very simple HTML interpreter in Microsoft Excel 2007 or 2010. The edition that I'm using is Microsoft Excel 2010 Professional. And just to give you a real quick sample as to what the end result will be at this video is what's on my screen. We have the HTML code that can be pasted in or typed in right in this section and then we have the output of, of the HTML. To give you a, a really quick demonstration I'll just do a paragraph tag I'm going to put testing again, exclamation mark, and then hit the command button. And then here we have the HTML written out on the right side. If this is something that you're interested in, please proceed with the video. I'm going to show you now how to set this up. So I'm just going to minimize this. Open up your Microsoft Excel 2007 or 10 and open up a brand new workbook. One of the first things that you're going to want to make sure is to have your developers tab set up and opened. If for any reason you don't see the developer tab on your screen, please view one of my previous videos on setting up the developer tab in Microsoft Excel. Alright, that being said, let's first go on and do our label. HTML code. I'll just put that in B4. And I'll just kind of make that bold. Increase the font. And here what we're going to do is put a little text box. So in your developer tab, go click the insert button. Under ActiveX controls, select your text box. And we're just going to draw a text box right here. Right click it, properties. And what we want to do is set up the multi line to be true. And I'm going to go on and close this out. So now we'll be able to type in here. I'm going to take us out of design mode and I'm just going to put in a little bit of HTML real quick. I'm just going to put body tag. In order to go down to the to the next line in the text box, you have to do Shift Enter because if you just hit enter, hit Enter by itself, it won't scroll down. You have to do Shift and Enter at the, at the same time. I'm just going to do a, a an a href a hyperlink. And what we want to do next is do the output of the HTML. And again, I'll increase the font size. Now, in order to output the HTML, what I'm using is the web browser control. And so I'm going to go to my developer tab. Under insert, select that. You're going to click the icon that has the hammer and the wrench. Scroll down until you find Microsoft web browser control. Select it and hit OK. Go on and draw it onto your form. Size it to your preference. And then the last thing I'm going to do is insert a command button under ActiveX controls, command button, select, and I'm just going to right click it, properties, under caption, I'm going to change that to generate. I'm going to close this window. We're still in design mode, so I'm going to double click the generate button. And what we're going to do is do web browser one dot navigate, and we're going to do about blank two. And then the next thing we're going to do is web browser one. I'm just going to copy and paste this just to make it a little bit easier on me. Web browser two dot navigate about blank. The reason why I go to this web page first is just to clear out any kind of document memory that's currently in the web browser. And then we're going to go to about blank. So just this one just clears it out. This one will just give us a, a clean screen right here. The next thing we're going to do is web browser one. We're going to do dot document dot write. And then we're going to write what's in the text box. Text box one dot text. And I just noticed that here I put web browser two. That's a mistake. It should be web browser one. Then it's going to be web browser one dot refresh after we do the write. So let me show you really quick where these names came from, the web browser one and text box one. Web browser one is this control. If we were to right click it and select properties, we see the name of this control is web browser one. This box over here is text box one. While you do see the name up here, because it is an ActiveX control, I would recommend you right click it, go to your properties, and you see the name of the box is text box one. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try out the code. I'm gonna close this out. Take yourself out of design mode by selecting design mode. 
And now we're going to try generating the code and see if we get any errors. For the very first time that you try this out, you're going to have to click it twice. But it, here we do have the code here where it says click here. So the next thing I'm going to show is how this is a full blown web browser right here. If right here I have an, an AHF hyperlink going to google.com saying click here. So if I click it, it's going to take me to google.com. So whatever code you paste on the left side will be thrown into a web browser and as long as you don't depend on some kind of server to run the code in the back end you're pretty much going to see what the preview is going to look like so if you have any kind of basic html code you want to try out you can go on and paste it into this box and try it out on on your on the web browser control i'll tell you on my part for personal projects i have found this very useful because Many times on the back end, I'll have some kind of document that I want to create using HTML and I want to show it to the user through HTML. You might find this very useful. If not, I mean, this can also be a fun experiment. So I hope you really enjoy this video and thank you for watching.